I'm Tom Morsnop, Product Manager for Electromechanical Actuators here at Festo. I'm here to introduce our demo case for the new low-cost and compact actuators. Um, there are three actuators in this demo case. There's the ELGC-TV. This is a tooth belt actuator for dynamic applications. Second actuator is the ELGC-BS. This is a ball screw variant of the uh, same linear actuator, um, which uses a ball screw for smooth and precise movements. And lastly, I have the EGSC mini slide, which also uses a low friction ball screw for smooth and precise movements. These three actuators here are the medium sizes for these uh, actuator types. So the ELGC TV, this is a size 60, and that, si that size corresponds to the width of this actuator. So it's a 60 millimeter width profile. Um, this actuator has one size smaller and one size larger, size 45 and size 80 available. The demo case also includes the size 45 ball screw variant of the ELGC. And this axis also has one size smaller, a size 32, and two sizes bigger, the size 60, which matches the tooth belt variant, and the size 80. And lastly, the EGSC mini slide. This comes in size 32 with the demo case. Uh, it's also available in a size 25, which means it's got a 25 millimeter width, as well as two sizes um, above that, size 45 and size 60. All of the actuators in this demo case come in the shortest stroke lengths for those actuator types. So the ELGC tooth belt, um, size 60. This one is available from size uh, and stroke lengths from 200 millimeters um, all the way up to two meters in length. The ELGC ball screw is available in fixed stroke lengths from 100 millimeters all the way to one meter. And the EGSC mini slide is available in fixed stroke lengths from 25 millimeters all the way up to two meters, up two meters, 200 millimeters. Um, this is the 25 millimeter version. Also available in the demo case, we have included uh, three manuals, one for each actuator type. And we have a box of accessories. Included in this box of accessories, are the sensor brackets. We have three of these, one for each actuator. These mount directly into the profile of the actuator. Uh, so if you wanna use them for limit switches, you could mount two, one at either end, to detect when your axis is at the limits. Or you could use one at either end as a homing sensor. So you'd, mount to the, uh, mount to the, you'd uh, home to the sensor instead of homing to say a hard stop. The way these uh, center brackets work is they fit into this slot and then there are two set screws on here. The set screws are tightened, which expands the aluminum into the um, aluminum profile of the actuator. We've also included in the demo case the label for the center bracket. And the reason for this is on the label, the torque uh, set point for those set screws is included. And we've done, we festered this on a number of our products. Uh, including the sensors, so that way the customer doesn't have to open the manual in order to find out what the torque limit is. They can just look at the label on the product. In addition to the sensor brackets, we also are including mounting profiles, which I'll show you that setup. We've got two sets of them. One set to mount the size 32 actuator to the size 45, and one set to mount the size 45 to the size 60, which I'm going to demonstrate. In order to do this, I take the two profile mounts, place them on top of the carriage, and then I take the screws from those profile mounts and just screw them in. No need for alignment features. So because this is a demo case, I'm just 
just going to finger tighten these screws. Um, because um, it's a demo case and I don't want to continuously be putting a lot of stress on the threads. And I need to demonstrate this to multiple people, multiple times. And so I kept them loose so I can slide this out to the end cap. And now I'm just tightening it to finger tight. Good. And now I've assembled the two axis system in like a minute. So very easy to assemble multi-axis systems um, using the profile mounts, which is one of the great features of these actuators. Um, some other benefits of these actuators include um, the fact that they all use ball bearing guides. So that means they have excellent moment handling um, and they're going to have a really long service life. Um, additionally, you can mount Festo motors to these actuators um, using either axial kits. So for every single um, one of these types of actuators, you can mount the motor directly onto the end using our axial kit. And the benefit to that is it's a really low cost axial kit, very simple to use. Additionally, for the ball screw variants of our actuators, the mini slide and the ball screw uh, ELGC, it's possible to mount a motor in parallel, right? So you could mount a motor alongside, on either side or above, same thing here. And that makes for a really compact solution. And lastly, all of these actuators are protected. So that means they can be used in clean rooms or in dirty environments. Um, in the demo case, we put fittings onto all of these actuators. You can see these here, these are standard Festo fittings. Um, this isn't how these actuators arrive from the factory. They come with, in the case of these two axes, they come with a set screw plugging that uh, hole. And in the case of the EGSC mini slide, it comes with a bronze filter over the breathing port. So it lets air in and out, but not dirt. Um, but in clean room and dirty applications, you wanna be able to control the air. And so you can take those out, put in fittings, and um, now in the case of a clean room, you can run vacuum out of the actuator in order to keep the dirt inside of the actuators. Or in the case of a dirty uh, environment, you can run a little overpressure into the actuators that'll keep dirt from getting in, contaminating the actuators, um, which should extend the service life of these actuators beyond if you didn't have that uh, overpressure. Uh, I hope this has been informative and thank you very much for your time.